yo. I said, yo. All right, why the chat not popping up, huh? What's going on here, man? Y'all know how we, uh, y'all know how we do things here. What is good, YouTube? What is good, PlayStation Nation? It is your boy, Persona of Gaming with Persona, host of When Persona Speaks, host of When Persona Interviews, and one half of the host of What's Up PlayStation Podcast. Every Saturday morning at 11 a.m., how we doing today, guys? Yo, I'm feeling good today, man. It's a good, it's a, it's, <clears throat> it's a good Monday, guys. Happy Monday, guys. A new episode of what, uh, when Persona Speaks, man. Uh, episode 166 in the books. We are here, man. We are here. Uh, we got a really, really good show for you guys today. We're going to talk about some good stuff. I'm trying to figure out why, why is, uh, Let me see. For some reason, uh, yeah, I wonder for this one. Live. They go to the link. Let me see if I do that. So for some reason, my Twitch live, my Twitter live button don't work. Let me share it out the old fashioned way. Sometimes the old-fashioned way is the best way, guys. When it comes to technology, sometimes I'm live right now. Sometimes the old-fashioned way, I, if you can. How y'all feeling this Monday, man? Y'all feeling good? Are y'all feeling good out here on this Monday? uh afternoon monday evening or monday yeah monday afternoon if you're in a different part of the world you feel me uh a lot of good stuff to talk about today guys i'm not gonna lie we got a lot of great things that we are gonna talk about here today right but uh i think before we get into anything where are my manners guys you know i gotta shout y'all out in the chat also i got some of the sounds back on the soundboard i only got one i can't find my sounds Can you hear that? You can't, oh. <laughs> you can't even hear that. Hold on, let me play it again. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we're slowly building, we're slow, we're slowly building the soundboard back up. I don't know where my sounds are. I have to look, I have to look on my old computer. I thought I had everything on the hard drive that I, you know, that I saved everything on, but for some reason, all the sounds aren't there. So I'm just sitting there like, yo, like, what is, are you serious? So, you know, we'll, we'll get the soundboard because, you know, we'll get the soundboard back up to where it needs to be. You feel me? But where are my management? Let me shout out everybody in the chat real quick. Uh, yo, Sam Ash in the building. Sam, what's good, bro? He says, uh, the people complaining about it are so right oh listen we gonna talk <laughs> oh boy I'm, I'm, I'm a playstation I'm, I'm, I'm a playstation fan too listen man we gonna talk about it okay we are gonna talk about it all uh because yeah 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 there's a lot there's a i'm, I'm, I'm a playstation fan too there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh you know a lot of crying and complaining and all that bullshit going on we're definitely gonna talk about it. trust me guys we're gonna we're gonna talk about a lot today man i promise uh, yo, Sir Dre the Great in the building. Sir Dre, what's good, man? I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling good as well, Dre. A uh, shout out to you. Yo, BB, what is good, BB? Uh, appreciate you. Yo, Jeff B Gaming in the building. Just as we need the gaming politician's take on the PS5 face place. Mm, the gaming politician might make a... He might show his face. Who knows? You know, the gaming politician likes to just show up and interrupting the show and all that bullshit y'all know how that goes man so we'll see if gaming politician a uh, show his face he might he might uh yo terry henderson man what's going on terry appreciate you uh yo rallo god in the building rallo how you feeling today man it's me baby 80 in the building shout out to you it's me uh i'm trying to get that cana platinum as we speak that's what's up uh, i actually started back up cana as well so i could uh complete that you feel me so uh, I know I know how you feel. Uh, it's me. 
Uh, yo, Dewan in the building. Dewan, how you feeling today, man? Blue Mustang in the building. What is good, Blue Mustang? Adrian in the building. Yo, Adrian, man. Uh, shout out to my boy, my bro, Adrian, man. Appreciate you always coming through, bro. Uh, yo, PS5 hype. What is good, man? Cyber Dragon, what's good with you, man? Ice Queen Gaming in the building. Ice Queen, what is good with you? Young Boy Gip, what is good with you? zombie 256 what's good with you star guardian 88 in the building oh shout out to my boy star guardian sinister in the building sinister how you feeling today man appreciate you let's go up the list man yo viper reaps corner in the building yo viper let me mod you up real quick viper why ain't you a mod let me mod you up real quick we're gonna mod up uh let's go try hard as well yo man shout out to viper man real talk uh Big shout out to Viper, man, because Viper has been doing a real, real good uh, community service uh, for the Whoops channel where he puts the uh, the timestamps up. Um, yo, Vipe, man, you know, we appreciate you always for that, bro, man. Thank you. Uh, you know, it really means a lot to us, man. And and, and trust me, man, it, it, it trust me, it means a lot. OK, so shout out to Vipe, man. Appreciate you. Mr. Go Try Hard Guy Uchiha. Shout out to that Uchiha clan. We out here. I always tell you guys, man, I'm either Itachi or Madara. You feel me? Um, those are the best characters in the, in, in the whole damn show, in my opinion. There's a couple of others, but, you know, Itachi and Madara, they're the best, man. Like, you know, Uchiha clan all day. You, know, you feel me? Uchiha clan all day. Shout out to Mr. Go Try Hard Guy. Uh, yo, Henry Heck in the building. Henry, how you feeling today, sir? Magnificent Black in the building. Said, what's up, Persona? feeling good bro them uh north carolina blue plates is mine oh yeah man yo magnificent i promise we we gonna get into it man i promise uh your car anchor in the building car how you feeling today sir uh who else yo german martinez what is good german man appreciate you uh games for eternity in the building games how you feeling today sir lorenzo carson in the building the new forespoken gameplay looks damn good oh lorenzo you know we're gonna talk about it you know you know we're gonna break that down and look at it and 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 you know we're gonna give our critique you feel we're gonna have that conversation together guys you already know uh who else is here uh let me show i think sam ash what's up corrosive what's good corrosive appreciate you stardust a zero in the building stardust how you feeling today sir uh yo rob rob what's good bro appreciate you omar yo omar in the building the twitter space god what's good omar appreciate you man shout out to game slayer podcast every saturday at 6 p.m eastern with omar inate uh 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 morgan I think Stone on there, Kaylee. He got a good he got a good panel on it, man. Definitely check out Game Slayer with Omar. It's a pretty it's a pretty cool panel, man. Real chill. Uh, yo, Corey Macy in the building. Corey, what's good, bro? Qu uh, Quanvo in the building. Quanvo, what is good with you? Appreciate you, appreciate you. Who else is here? Logical nonsense in the building. Logical, what is good with you? Andre Robinson, how you feeling today, sir? Appreciate you. Uh. Well, yo, I am Panther in the building. I am Panther. What's good, bro? Happy Monday to you. How you feeling today, sir? Hope everything is good. Who else? Who else is here? Check the chat real quick. Are right, we at the beginning? Uh, I think we got everybody. Yeah, we got everybody, man. Uh, shout out to everybody here, man. Really appreciate y'all coming through, uh, chopping it up, man. You know, we about to talk about a whole lot of gaming, a whole lot of good stuff, right? Um yo kelvin smith what's good bro appreciate you uh yo foxing around i'm chilling with austin uh fox man appreciate you coming through bro shout out to the dolphins shout out to yo tell yo real talk we're foxing around man yo he always uh he talk about tua <laughs> hey yo i don't really follow football like that no more but a lot of the people that i um follow on twitter they be talking about it so much. I feel like I could have a conversation too. They be talking about Tua and the Steelers and this and that. And listen, I only follow the Jets and the Giants. And those are really the games I really pay attention to and uh, and, and watch. Um, so it's like, yo, I can't really, you know, have, I can't have like that in-depth conversation like a lot of people can have with uh, sports. But for a lot of the sports people that I follow, like, uh, you know, Strick, Stone, Fox, 
uh, uh, Dime. A lot of people, you know, when it's when it's sport when it's game day, uh, my Twitter be full of the sports highlights and the in the in their thoughts and shit. So like I'm like, damn, I feel like I watched the whole damn game. <laughs> So, you know, I always see Fox talk about Tua and the Dolphins and training and this and that. I just be like, yo, that shit be funny. Uh, yo, y'all sports fans, y'all a different breed, man. I fuck with y'all, though. Um, yo, Mr. Glass, what's good, bro? Uh, who else was here? I saw somebody else say what's up to me in the chat. Uh, Walter, Walter, what's good, bro? Don, John, Sean, what's good, man? Appreciate y'all. You only follow the Jets and Giants, man. I feel, yeah, man, my teams are trash, man. <laughs> my teams are trash, but listen, man, as a New Yorker, man, I'm a ride for my teams, man. I'm a ride for my teams. So as trash as they are, they always gonna be my teams, man. Uh, the Rams, your, your Rams play tonight. Hope they win. Uh, you know, I, I follow the highlights. I follow a lot of football. Like I follow NFL, BR, uh, Bleacher Report, a couple of uh, like, you know, sports personalities. So I, I see a lot of the highlights with a lot of those different games. But like, when it comes to like actually, like if I was in like a sports, like if someone was doing like a sports space or like, you know, a pot, sports podcast, I couldn't be on that shit, man. Right? Cause I, I like pe people be having that sports shit down to a science when it comes to the stats and shooting 30% from the free throw and, and you know, uh, uh, you know, 200 rushing yards. And all. listen, I can't have those type of conversations. It's like these people know the entire stats of like every fucking team in the NFL. That's just not my, that ain't my lane. So I ain't even going to try to pretend like I could have those types of conversations, uh, uh, you know, in like a, a podcast or something like that. All I can tell you is the highlights. I know the play, some of the plays and all that shit. You know, I could have like a semi conversation, but I, I I can't go in depth, man. I wish game I wish the gaming community was like that, cause you know in the sports community, you know they gonna know if you a fraud right away, right? You start talking about goddamn uh 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 Deion Sanders or some shit like this, the '90s and '80s. It's like Deion Sanders, Sanders they play how many like you know, like it's just like yo, <laughs> you a fraud, like you know, and people they pick up on that right away. And when they pick up on that, man, they get you out that community ASAP. <laughs> you feel me? Game is the only place where you could not know shit about sport, uh, about a, a game or something. And you thrive in this community. It's the most backward shit. I, uh, it's the most backward shit uh, ever. <laughs> so, you know, shout out to the sports community, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all lucky. Y'all ain't got a lot of frauds running around there. Uh, yo, KL, what's up, man? What up with these non PlayStation guys crying about prices on these plates i'm getting red or black yo eastern conference what's good bro 10 10 what's up man uh adrian he said truth that's what i'm saying man you know a lot of frauds out here yo king kiso in the building Kiso, another one man he be uh he be he be talking about the sports shit on the timeline i be listen i follow it from them man <laughs> i know what's going on with the games from what y'all be tweeting man real talk um all right so let's talk man let's have a conversation it's a lot of stuff we got to talk about today. So we're going to talk about three things, right? We're going to talk about this new Forspoken gameplay. We're going to, you know, watch it. And, and you know, I'm going to point out some stuff that I saw and what really stood out to me, right? Yo, uppercase Jane, the building. What's good, bro? Yo, Unicron, what's up? Um, We're going to talk about these plates, new controllers, new plate colors and stuff like that. We're going to, you know, we're going to talk about that first because, you know, that's, that's real beefy. And then the last thing we're going to talk about is actually Hellblade 2. And the reason why I want to talk about Hellblade 2 is because every single time in this community, it never fails, bruh, especially when it comes to a lot of these Xbox fanboys, right? They always put their foot in their mouth when it comes to anything new that's shown at Xbox. Because if, you, if you've been around for a long time, one of the few things that I remember, and I think a lot of you that have been around as well, remember, people were shitting on Hellblade uh, 1. When it was on playstation back in 2017 right and how you know it was this walking simulator it was trash and you know who would want to play this one and done and i don't want to support this because it's digital only there's a whole bunch of bullshit, right and then the game comes to xbox it gets the game pass and suddenly everyone loves it suddenly it's the best thing since sliced bread right suddenly uh i because i've seen this narrative get pushed over the weekend oh, okay we're good um 
I don't know what just happened there. But anyway, um, when it comes to when it comes to uh, uh, what people, what I've been seeing people say during the weekend. Am I? Is it? Is it lagging for y'all? We should be good. Are y'all good? Is it? Is it? Is, is it clear? Is it good for y'all? Hold up. Okay, I think we're good. We good now? Yeah, it's, the computer said OBS disconnected, disconnected and reconnected successfully. I don't know what the hell just went happen, but all right, we good. All right, cool. Um, because one of you know one of the things that I was seeing over the weekend that really had me like, yo, we definitely about to talk about this is there's this narrative trying to be pushed that PlayStation fans are jealous and angry at Hellblade 2 and trying to shit on the game. And anybody that's trying to cr critique Hellblade 2 is because they're angry or they're jealous or whatever. And, I, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, no, absolutely not. Right? Hellblade 2, you know, it, it, it looks, yo, Stula Glenn, what's up? It looks good, like from a graphical standpoint. I don't think anyone's trying to dispute that. But see, here's the, it's two sides of this coin. You got some people saying that if anyone is critiquing it, it's PlayStation fans because they're mad and jealous because the game's not going to be on that platform, blah, 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 all that bullshit. Here's the other side of it. And this is why I say, yo, when it comes to this gaming community, uh, when you give them an itch, they'll take them out, especially with a lot of the, 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 the zealots and the more radicals in this community, is people are trying to say that Hellblade looks better than Horizon Forbidden West. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you no lies. This is what's being said. Right? So, you know, we gonna look at the gameplay of both games. Cause see, this is, and see, this is the problem, right? Because then when things, and this is why I say a lot of the stuff that happens to, to, to within this community that happens on the Xbox side, when it comes to like being proven wrong and getting made fun of, a lot of them do it to themselves, right? Cause you can't just be happy and excited for the game. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta go the extra mile and try to shit on PlayStation. You gotta go the extra mile and try to shit on their games and i'm sitting and i'm like yo i would have just been happy like yo hellblade looks good this looks dope i can't wait you know i want to see more whatever but no oh it looks better than horizon horizon can't hold a candle to i'm seeing all this stupid shit and i'm like hey yo guys <laughs> let's let's real this let's reel it in guys because i think whatever whatever y'all smoking you need to hit your dealer up and, and, and tell them that you're not buying from there no more because your shit is spiked okay because absolute we go listen we're going to talk about it, okay? It's going to be a good show. So kick back, relax, get your drinks, get your snacks. If you're making dinner or driving home for work or you're at work, I hope I can get you through uh, the, the evening. All right, let's go. So uh, the first thing we are going to talk about is that PlayStation News News. Uh, is it this one? It's the PlayStation News News News. And uh, ooh wee, ooh wee, man. Listen, uh, PlayStation really does know how to how to treat how to treat uh, how to treat its fans, right? Not all the time. Listen, they fuck up a lot, right? Especially as of late. But um, this is one thing. And it's funny too, because I remember uh, a while back. This is a while back when we were talking about PlayStation plates, right? I remember when I think this might have been even last year, right? But I remember when uh, me and Barry was doing what's a playstation podcast i know it was probably like a couple episodes we've had this conversation where i you know he and i have said barry and myself we said you know i definitely think you know it would be a good idea for playstation to put out plates and really i you know we thought that was that was what playstation was going to do anyway because the fact that both sides of these plates are removable you know the fact that you know they're, they're very interchangeable and then you see like a lot of these third-party brands and stuff like that doing doing that with the with the whole custom plates and then you see playstation kind of doing like a cease, cease and desist type of thing and trying to get some of these people out out the paint because you know they, they really march it in on playstation's money right but that's a, that's a whole different conversation um you know we knew that playstation was going to be doing this let me pop out the chat as well so i can see what y'all talking about let me pop the chat out, right? We we knew that PlayStation was going to be doing this, right? It was just a matter of when. It was just a matter of when, right? Because 
you know, supply constraints and all these other things that, you know, the pandemic has slowed up a lot. It was just a matter of time before PlayStation was going to announce these things. And when we got the announcement of the new controller colors a couple months back with the uh, cosmic red and black, you know, I, you know, we definitely, definitely thought, okay, you know, them plates are definitely coming sooner or later. I'm not gonna lie. And I would have thought this would have came even later than what it, you know, pause, by the way, I thought this would have, you know, happened a little bit later than, 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 than now. Like I would thought it would have been like 2020, like summer or spring of 2022 that they would have, you know, kind of pumped this out. Right. But the fact that they're doing it now in a lot of those places are going to be releasing at the beginning of next year, very early next year. Right. Uh, that's definitely a good look. Cause one, I'm excited. Can't wait to get them. But two, uh, you know, that just lets you know that, you know, PlayStation is definitely kicking it into overdrive with trying to put a lot of that official, uh, uh, cosmetic stuff out here. Right. And the cool thing, and again, this is something that, uh, Barry and myself have talked about on what's up PlayStation as well. But one of the cool things that, um, I love about this is, you know, cause if we go back to like the PS4 generation, right. If you want it like custom, you know, if you want it like a custom console or a different color console or something like that, you know, you, you, you paying for that. Like you paying for a whole new console, right? Like, you know, I've bought, I've gotten the, the God of War special edition console, the uncharted the uh, uh, for these and special edition console, the 500 million special edition console. Like, you know, instead of having to buy and then there's tons of other ones like the destiny special edition console it's just so many different special edition consoles that are out there during the playstation 4 generation that people were shelling out that big money now i'm not saying that playstation still might not do something like this for the the ps5 generation but what i'm saying is what this the what the plates does is it oh it opens up a new avenue for playstation to easily put out cosmetics like this and it's more accessible right because you know when it comes to the special edition consoles you kind of fighting to get that stuff right you gotta you know you gotta be online refresh and have multiple tabs open whatever because those types of things go by quick either from scalpers or you know people that just really want those types of consoles collectors and things like that you know when it comes to the plates you know obviously people are going to want the plates as well because it's, it's different colors and their favorite color and they want to match and kind of be be uh have some type of uniformity when it comes to their setups and things like that right but also you know is that you know freedom of expression where you know you want you want a pink console or you want a blue console or a yellow con whatever you know and then the the other side of that is it opens up the avenue for uh even more custom like special edition or limited edition plates officially from playstation for like from horizon or god of war or persona or street fighter or something like that that gives that gives a lot of these developers and, and, and companies and stuff like that i feel like a little more room to be even more creative with these custom plates because they're easy to manu manufacture right and you can kind of uh, manufacture manufacture them a bit more and i don't want to say in bulk right but it's easier to manufacture plates than it is to manufacture a console right so that gives artistic freedom for a lot of these developers and companies to be like hey look you know for the for the special edition or collector's edition of of you know this ps5 version of this game you also get these special edition plates or limited edition plates or whatever the case may be right and you can still make those things limited edition because i am be honest when it comes to the plates uh i'm definitely gonna like be collecting a lot of these throughout uh, throughout the generation especially if they start releasing really cool looking uh, uh plates and stuff like that you get what i'm saying so that stuff i think is really really good and really great and i think it adds a new level of flavor to the playstation 5 and and developers and playstation themselves to kind of add you know again that little a little feng shui right where you can really get real creative yo cb3 man appreciate you for the uh five dollar super chat uh he's yeah uh cb3 i see it uh i don't have notifications set up yet right uh i have to set those up uh because i got i'm i'm not using stream labs anymore for any i don't use stream labs for streaming and i don't use stream labs for notifications and stuff like that anymore especially after all that bullshit that came out with them stealing obs ideas and all i'm like yeah i can't support that so i'm on regular obs and I'm moving everything into stream elements. So uh, that shit takes time. 
so uh but i do i do see a super chat so uh cb3 says uh <clears throat> they couldn't just be happy with hellblade 2 the game looks fire to me ninja theory are the only ones that can utilize the series x full power oh yes cb3 listen we're gonna we're gonna talk about it cb3 oh yes that i agree i agree we're gonna we're gonna talk about it i promise <laughs> um so yeah like collector's edition plates and all those different things right so lo and behold monday morning playstation drops that megaton man and listen guys when when one thing about playstation and, it, and like yo I, i've said this before you know sometimes with playstation playstation is always right on time for certain things right and i think this is one of those things right because uh not only did they add new plates and this is why it's so crazy right not only did they add new plates and i think and, and i think it was smart that they waited till after black friday and during the holiday time to do this because you know black friday rush everyone trying to get a ps5 and all that stuff and then you know you got your shiny nice new ps5 oh man i wish my ps5 was red or i wish it was blue purple pink black whatever boom oh man i want a red controller boom listen man but 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 this is great this is for great gamers, gamers. PlayStation moving moving kind of smart with this, right? But not only did they release some new plates, but ooh we ooh we they released some new uh they released some new uh controller colors. Now listen guys, oh I got a lot of dual sense controllers already. I think I got like I have five or six dual sense controllers. So I have like four whites and then I have the cosmic red and the black. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. <laughs> I see these controllers and I'm like, yo i so that you know these are the two hold on let me go back uh these are the two i so this is the cosmic red and the black dope right you know these are some good colors man right they're really cool colors but uh yo they say yo we about to drop that turquoise that that purple that pink and i'm like yo i'm with it <laughs> you feel me and it really helps your console and and like i said it's really smart that they did that because i'm like yo that really adds to you kind of making your console your own now you can you can make your console all pink or or purple or whatever and you can get the controller to match it's a very very smart idea right the controllers look great right the dual sense is a good looking controller already but like if you've bought in the black or the cosmic red or whatever you know that like those colors look good in person as well right as good as they look on this screen they also look that good in person you feel me so um you know i, I can see a lot of people kind of seeing all this this whole array of colors and see here's the thing too because you know let me put the disclaimer out there because i know somebody somebody's gonna be like oh but i thought playstation didn't i thought playstation fans didn't care about controllers oh i thought playstation didn't only just put out controllers huh when xbox puts out different kind of color controllers you guys say that that stuff is wrong so it's wrong there but it's not wrong here huh 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 is it is it is it this wrong that they're releasing all these controllers for the holiday season and not any next gen exclusives huh huh right and i'm just like shut the fuck up <laughs> you feel me like cut, cut, cut the cap it's not the same thing right playstation has been killing it all year right and you know this adds this just adds to that there's a difference the same rules don't apply a lot of people don't like that but the same rules don't apply so these are the new controllers and then uh hey yo man I, yo i cannot lie bro this is one good looking ass picture. <laughs> this is a good looking picture. And those are the colors, man. Like, listen, you can make your console whatever color you want. Interchangeable, it's quick, right? Quick and easy, right? I, I, I love it, man. So listen, I was originally gonna buy the Cosmic Red um shell but i ended up going with the black because listen man black is one of my favorite colors right red and black are my favorite colors uh, but if i had to choose one color over the other 
uh it would be black right i, I just love i wear black i wear a lot of black right um and you know i i just love the color black and i'm just thinking because i'm looking because my desk my computer desk is red and black so i'm like yo that all black console sitting on the desk looking like a goddamn stealth bomber oh <laughs> i say yo i gotta get the black plates man yo jeff i, I was not golf in school okay never ever i told y'all man uh where i grew up if i was if i was goth i'd have got my ass beat every day absolutely not um so that black just having that black yo dre uh dreology was good bro just having that black sit on the desk just imagine guys if in your entertainment centers or whatever you got that all black you got that all purple you got that all cosmic red that turquoise that pink oh listen man listen man the, the, it, 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 it. This shit sells itself, bro. I, I, yo, as soon as I seen this, I was like, I am ready. Send it up. Send it to me. I'm ready. I need this. I'm ready. <laughs> golf. <laughs> nah, I was never golf. No golf. I need them Spider-Man Miles Rouse plays for the... Yo, listen. King Kiso. This is what I'm saying, man. I feel like this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's the tip of the iceberg. Because... You're going to have the special edition plates, right? Uh, the, you know, Miles Spider-Man plates, right? Wolverine. Yo, if they have some limited edition Wolverine plates drop for the Wolverine game, it's over, man. It's over. It's over. It's over, man. It's over. It's, it's, it's over man they're gonna kill it man they're gonna kill it with this there's too many possibilities because i i think the console i think the playstation console itself looks good already right like in terms of like its build quality and stuff like that i think it looks great especially standing up laying to the side i don't really like that when it's standing up i think it looks great laying on the side i think that shit looks kind of weird in my opinion i just don't like it like that it has to be standing up and then if you got the all digital see here's the crazy thing Yo, Frozen, uh, Frozen Magma, man, appreciate you for the $5 super chat. He says, purple look kind of fly low-key. Do you think instead of Sony doing custom consoles, they will just release custom plates and controllers? Absolutely. 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 I definitely, I definitely think PlayStation is going to definitely transition into making custom plates, you know, limited edition plates. You know, imagine if they do like an old school PS1 plate design with a PS1 controller with the with the colorful playstation symbol on the controller you understand how how much how much that's going to sell how quick that's going to go you get what i'm saying there's a lot of possibilities here for playstation uh and it's really hard for playstation to fuck this up because again they're already starting off right by having the plates and the matching controller for all the colors so then they're, they're they're doing shit right where you know if you buy an all black <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> sorry about that uh if you buy an all black plate you gotta get the all black controller. If you get an all pink plates, you gotta get the all pink control controller. They comp they both complement each other, which is why I said it's very smart that PlayStation is also releasing the color the colorful controllers, uh, the colorful controllers to kind of match to, to go with uh, each plate. Yo, Bari, shout out to my boy Bari in the building, man. The other half the other half of whoops in the building uh my boy bar said i got all the controllers on pre uh on pre-order listen uh let, let me uh i'm definitely going to get i'm gonna get the other three for sure um probably after the holidays though your boy been spending too much uh after the holidays <laughs> so um this is this is definitely going to be this is this is very smart very very smart now again, if they do like a deep red or like a burgundy color, right? Yellow, I can see yellow on the horizon. Um, a green, right? Like a lime green, dark green, you know, like the color combinations and the color possibilities, a tie dye type of setup, right? I, you know, if PlayStation does this right, man, they will, these will sell like hotcakes. Cause here's, here's the other thing guys, for me personally, I don't really like buying, I don't know about you guys and, and listen, that's all right. But for me, I don't really like buying unlicensed products for like for like electronics like you know like remember those um 
the only type of remember like uh, the mat like i like the mad cats controllers like some of those other like off brand control silver silver's a good color too frozen uh remember those like those like off brand controllers back in the day you know that had like the turbo button and all that i i hate i don't really like buying unlicensed shit right i like to buy officially licensed stuff because i know that is you know for the, mo for, for, for the most part uh it, it's gonna the build quality is gonna be good it's officially licensed so you know it's gonna you know it's gonna fit what it's gonna do what it's supposed to do and all that other stuff i i just i i just like buying officially licensed so like when it comes that's why like all the, the db brand and all that other shit i wasn't buying those plates because i'm like yo i want playstation's plates because i know this is this is made by playstation it's officially it's officially licensed like this is theirs right it's coming from them i just i don't know i just feel more comfortable with that and that's with like a lot of like electronics and shit like that right but this this just looks very beautiful um somebody say gold i see gold a brush gold gold yo if they do some gold like a gold controller and gold plates yo that's going that's going to sell quick gold controller with gold plates that is going to sell out very very quickly very very quickly that's what i'm saying lorenzo i need that quality i need that high quality man dark blue dark blue is another color i definitely want to see play which i'm surprised i'm actually surprised that playstation went with dark blue i mean with turquoise instead of dark blue first i'm, I'm very very surprised at that i'm not sure i'm not sure what the thought process behind that was but uh, i definitely think they need like an official playstation blue right and then here's the uh what's up that very colorful too like this trailer just looks very colorful and uh it just looks very good <laughs> i can't wait i can't wait man i'm excited i'm excited man I'm, I'm very excited so those are so those are the plates those are the controllers and so the way it's releasing is kind of kind of uh it's kind of all over the place in my opinion so uh the midnight black and constant red console covers will become available starting in january 22nd at participating retailers in usa canada uk france germany switzerland austria spain portugal italy australia new zealand japan china taiwan hong kong singapore malaysia thailand indonesia vietnam korea and the philippines so pretty much a lot of uh a lot of areas in the world is going to be getting these um day one the nova pink galactic purple and starlight blue um ps5 covers will also be will also launch in these locations during the first half of 2022 so i think these are gonna these these are gonna be like i think for the newer colors so cosmic red and black will release in january but then the other colors pink purple and turquoise those will probably release around i'm gonna say around closer to spring maybe we might be getting those releases right um and i think that's probably why i wanted to go with black first out of these other colors too right i mean black is just the best color anyway uh and we plan to launch the ps5 console colors uh console covers in additional territories during the year and we'll announce those details as they become available the exact launch dates for both the new dual sense wireless controller colors and the new ps5 console covers in select regions may vary by location so be sure to check your local retail retailer so here's the thing uh i i got these from playstation direct i think playstation direct is the uh is probably the best way to go for this in my opinion so we hope you enjoy the look at the new colors find out more on the dual sense here let me see what this leads to okay this leads to here cool um just want to see so we know that uh the dual sense so we know that the dual sense so this will be available in the us and if you buy this is if you buy it from playstation direct right which i highly suggest you guys buy it from right um just because I, I you'll play real talk playstation direct has been really good when it comes to delivery payment options and all that stuff they really have knocked it out the park with that stuff so that's probably why i would say like you know playstation direct is the best place plus playstation direct gets these controllers first so if you buy from playstation direct um the purple controller will be available january 14th 2022 and then february 11th everywhere else right 
Um, the black and the white are already available. Uh, there's no date. Oh, yeah. So all the colors are going to release. So January 14th, 2022, if you buy from PlayStation Direct, all the colors will be available um, in terms of the new colors. They'll be available January 14th. So uh, I, like I said, I think PlayStation Direct is the way to go, personally speaking. Just because uh, you get it first, right? And then, and obviously 74, I know that price, I know that price range, you know, people gonna be like, oh, $74. <laughs> I don't know. Seventy-five dollars is a lot for a controller. You know, these are the same motherfuckers that just spent two hundred on a on an Xbox Elite controller and a fucking mini fridge. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that, man. We're gonna talk about that in a second too. I just want to get through the particulars with this, right? So then, with the uh, with the let me see. I think I'm gonna see. Yeah, so it's fifty-four. So right now uh you can get you can get it's crazy that yo real talk real talk real quick it's crazy how they had to put console not included like who the fuck would think they getting a whole brand new ps5 for 55 dollars? that's crazy anyway uh the console covers are gonna be uh you get them in red cosmic red and black they're gonna be 54.99 they come out january 21st 2022 uh for the playstation direct store and then february 18th everywhere else again uh i highly highly suggest you guys get to go to the playstation direct store and i'll uh i'll put the link to this in the uh hold up. i'll put the link copy all right store link and uh there we go All right and uh so like i said so then the digital edition also for those and this this hold on let me can you make this bigger can we make that bigger this is why i said the digital edition just looks better in my opinion like in terms of like console and obviously the digital the digital edition also comes out january 21st right but it's just look how sleek that looks man Yo, straight. What's good, bro? Uh, shout out to Frozen Man with another spot out of Super Chat. He says, "How's your PC, by the way? No problems, I hope. And why are you using Windows Dark Theme? Why aren't you using Windows Dark Theme? Uh, I gotta set that stuff up. I, I really have to sit down and set up everything with this PC. But the PC is is really good. Uh, Frozen, uh, no problem so far. And I've been playing Halo on it, and uh, you know, it's run runs good, runs quiet." There ain't really uh, any issues or any loud noises or nothing like that. I love it. I love it. Appreciate you. So fifty four ninety nine, like I said, and uh, you know, choose your colors. You can only choose these two colors so far. The other colors will be available later, right? So there's that with the whole PlayStation Direct, uh, with the whole PlayStation colors, man. You know, if you guys are picking that up, definitely let me know. That'd be pretty cool no and uh what else was that? oh um all right so let's talk about i want to talk about the other side of this right because you know i'm excited and i'm sure a lot of y'all was excited as well right i'm excited yo daryl nellens what's good man planetary federation of unions what's up um i'm excited and i'm sure a lot of y'all on on twitter yo dark Artemis, what's up i'm sure a lot of y'all on twitter was excited as well right and so, you know, I'm scrolling through Twitter. I see a lot of people retweeting, quote tweeting, talking about the colors. I see just the excitement all down the timeline, right? Then I see a, 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 a tweet, <laughs> right? Um, and listen, man, uh, you know, Tom Warren is, 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 uh, <laughs> Tom Warren is an interesting, uh, interesting guy, man, right? A very, a very interesting guy um you know i don't really have any ill will towards this guy right i know a lot of people could try to try to get at him uh and you know listen i i kind of stay away from all that because i know how a lot of these journalists are where they they're kind of sensitive especially if you check them and kind of embarrass them on the timeline you definitely gonna get blocked so i kind of tread lightly with a lot of that stuff and i don't really i don't really delve too deep into that right 
but uh i seen a tweet today from him that i i just had i just had to, yo i want to tell you guys before you ever like you scroll through twitter and you just see something so crazy so outrageous something so stupid that you just have to re respond this was that time for me where i was like uh, you know because like i said i see a lot of stupid shit on my timeline every day right and I, I, I really ignore a lot of that stuff or like I, I, I mute a lot of people or I just ignore a lot of that shit. Um, you know, stupid takes and shit like that. Uh, yo, Strickman, I appreciate you for the $10 super chat. He says, we were having more fun talking about placing controllers than playing Halo. Let that sink in, LOL. Great, uh, great evening, my G. Yo, <laughs> yo, shout out to Strick, man. Shout out to my bro Strick, man. I appreciate you, brother. Um, and so... Shout out to Tom Warren, right? Like, shout out to Tom Warren. Hopefully one day he would come on the show for Win Persona interviews and we could sit down and talk and have a great conversation about gaming, right? Uh, like I said, this is all just jokes and, you know, harmless fun. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, you know, personally trying to attack this person, uh, him or uh, anything like that, man. We're just going to talk about just this tweet, right? So, you know, no, nothing personal against Tom Warren. Cool. All right. So, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, I seen the tweet and I, and I laughed at first. Kind of like, hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I just was like, huh? So he goes, my face. So he goes, my face when I realized. No, no, not this one. Is it this one? No, 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 no. It's, the, it's I'm at the wrong tweet anyway. Lord have mercy. Where's the tweet? Where's the tweet? Here we go. So he goes, my face when I realized Sony's PS5 face plates are fifty five dollars. I said what? <laughs> I said what? Yo, Damien, what's good, bro? Yo, Viper, appreciate you for the super chat. It says, those black plates will be here by Christmas. Can't wait. Very excited. I know, bro. So, <laughs> he goes, uh, so I seen this and I said, what? <laughs> I was like, yo, what the, what the fuck are you talking about, Tom? Cut the cap. Cut, 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 cut the cap. Cut the cap. Cut, 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 cut the cap. You gotta cut, yo, Tom, you gotta cut the cap. What we talking about? $55? Come on, Tom. You gotta stop this, bro. Come on, man. You know better, right? So I immediately, I immediately, because he he shut down. He shut like once I replied, a lot of people started like, you know, like kind of like replying, and was blowing up his mentions. So he kind of cut off the tweet. He like he turned it off for like only people who follow. Oh, he followed. But I put because I seen his tweet and I'm like, bro, you see. So I said, you know what? Before I even, I, I did my research, guys. I said, hold up. Before I even reply to Tom, let me go look at those DB brand fucking plates to see how much they are right now. Just so that I, just so that the reply I put is it, it's accurate. It cannot be disputed. So, you know, I did my research. And you see how, see how good a little research will do you? A little research will do you, right? So... I put DB bland plates, DB brands plates cost more. Did you have this reaction as well? And like I said, guys, when you're dealing with these, these journalists and stuff like that, you have, you can't come in these, into their tweets attacking them because they're going to block you. You got to come at it in a, in a more, I hate to use this word, but you got to come at it in a more neutral way. Like a very, like, you, like, a, like you can't have your defenses up and like, oh, you're a fucking idiot, Tommy. Nah, no, you got to kind of come at it in a much more logical way, right? So I, 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 and I'm legit asking the question because I really want to know because if he had that same reaction, I right, cool, that's it, you know, whatever. I, right, he feels the same way. He just hates shit that's overpriced or whatever. Cool, he, you know, and I, so I put DB brand place cost more. Did you have this reaction? And listen, guys, y'all see it for yourself. And I put the link, I made sure to put a screenshot and the link because y'all know how I am. I'm very thorough out here. You feel me? Let's go to DB Brands real quick, right? So let's go to cases and where's PlayStation? Where's, where the hell is PlayStation 5? I can't find it. Did they hide PlayStation 5 or some shit? Cases, skins. Dark plates. Dark plates 2.0. So these are the these are the plates that they that they changed up, right? Scroll down to explore. Right? 
and these are the new plates so these are the 2.0 plates right whatever so say you want to buy a, a plate because you know 55 dollars is just so fucking expensive right all right cool right so you want to buy a plate just off rip just off rip and let's say we just got rid of the the middle skin right just just to kind of just to kind of beef up the give them some ammo just off rip this shit is sixty dollars five dollars more five dollars more but you know you going fancy so you want the middle plate too seventy dollars for the plates and so you know i i i said hey i'm i'm looking at it like ain't no way in hell he's saying this and these plates these third party plates are 70 dollars if anything playstation you getting your your shit from playstation for a steal 55 dollars 70 dollars for these plates Yo, shout out to yo court. What's good, bro? Valhalla Outcast. What's up? Seventy dollars. So I put. So I put. Uh, where's the tweet? So I, 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 cause, I, cause I'm like, there's no way. So then, you know, again, this is, and this is why I say, yo, when it comes to like this, when it comes to, to, Twitter, I'm telling you, man, there's a lot of this my truth bullshit that that that's floating around Twitter, right? Where it, you know. Again, the PlayStation 5 plates are $55. When you compare that to other stuff on the market, that is a good price and a good deal compared to other shit on the market. And this is officially, this is official. This is not like some third party shit. This is official and you getting this for 55. You get what I'm saying? Uh, So he says, what did he say to me? Oh, here you go. So then he goes, why would I care how much third party unofficial pieces of plastic cost? Why do you care what official pieces of plastic cost? The question can be asked, cause I kind of left it at that. Cause I say, yo, if I keep going and really like start like hammering down, like throwing down questions on him, he gonna block me. So I was like, hey, you know, fuck it, man, whatever. Like I, I, I made my point and the likes proved that. Like I, I made my point. My point is this, the comp, the, the competition, because you know, regardless if it's, third party or, or officially licensed or not the fact of the matter is these plates cost 70 dollars right the playstation's officially licensed place cost 15 dollars less than its competition because as much as people might not want to admit it the the db brand is still a competitor because that is business that could potentially be taken from playstations taken out of playstation's realm and people going elsewhere especially if if the third party uh, uh, brand is not playing ball with PlayStation, meaning, you know, giving some type of profit or whatever the case may be. Right. So. I, I, I don't get it. Yo, uh, Viper, why? Uh, yo, Viper, why you uh, don't 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 delete uh, Lorenzo's tweet? He talking about uh, don't don't delete that uh, uh, Viper. Uh, that's like the third time I've seen that. But um. My fault, Lorenzo. Put your put your comment again. You good? Um, but you know, when it comes to its competition, third part the third party brand DB Brands is still a competitor to PlayStation, especially the fact that they got around the loophole and don't have to give any type of any type of profits that they've made that they make to PlayStation because they changed the case just enough to where you know PlayStation you know it's legal and you know they don't have to play ball with PlayStation. So you taking hundred percent of the money out of PlayStation's pocket. And listen, do what you do, right? I ain't gonna tell you not to, like, listen, do do whatever the fuck you do. But the point that I'm trying to make is that by comparison, the PlayStation's plates are, are much cheaper. And honestly, they look better. In my opinion, they look better. And so he goes, you know, why would I care about how much a third party unofficial piece of plastic is? And I'm like, yo, in my head, I'm like, yo, why do you care at all? Period. Like the question can be framed any type of way. And I just felt like this, him asking this was very dismissive. 
right instead of you know instead of acknowledging this because if he acknowledged this it made him look stupid because really, the tweet doesn't make the main tweet doesn't make sense when you look at the competition. So, engaging in this after I made this tweet would have made him look stupid. And like I said, I got my point across. <laughs> Seventy dollars. That's a whole fucking game right there. Seventy dollars. That's how, that's Horizon Forbidden West on PS Five that you just paid for some fucking plates. Not saying, listen, spend your money where you want. But what I'm trying to say is, compared to the competition, you're getting over with PlayStation. Uh, yo, Henry Heckman, I appreciate you for the super chat, man. He says, that $70 argument about to, come, about to come bite them in the ass. That's a fact. I'm waiting on it, man. Um, yo, shout out to Dopus J, man. $5 super chat. He says, this is a pro-consumer move from Sony. Look at how they handle SSD expansion. I got a one terabyte for 130 for my PS5. I'm getting that that black faceplate, as you should, sir. As you should. All right? Every move that PlayStation has done when it comes to beefing up your console and making your console truly your own, has, in my opinion, has been very pro-consumer. And looking at this whole plate situation, right? The plates look beautiful. They look high quality, right? They don't got that ugly ass fan vent, uh, you know, and on the side right they're cheaper and you can get a cool controller to complement it as well you know it looks better to me and and, and that's why i'm saying and i'm saying 55 for that i don't see it i me personally i don't see an issue with that just like people don't see an issue spending 200 dollars on a controller on an elite controller or spending you just have people you know here's the funny thing here's the funny thing you just have people trying to beat down they 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 put scuffs uh uh they put scuff's website on fucking life support last week trying to get this the new ps5 reflex scuff controller that's that controller is 250 dollars and you had everybody and their mama trying to break down the door to get this controller Look at this controller, bruh. This controller is $229 for the Scuff Pro. The Scuff FPS is $250, it's $260. The Scuff Pro $229. The Scuff Reflex $200. Everybody and their mama was trying to break down the door to get this controller, myself included, because I want that Scuff. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I definitely want the Scuff. Uh, you, know, don't, you know, you guys, I always use Scuffs. Especially since my my the control I built, you know, it broke. The paddles broke, and I kind of don't feel like building a new one. <laughs> no lie. Um, everybody and their mama they ain't give a fuck about the price. They just trying to get it. Everybody trying to get it. So I don't get it. I I, I don't get it. I feel like PlayStation handled this well. I think the 55 that they asking is fair. And if it's not fair for this, then you must have an issue with this. You must. Because regardless if it's third party or official, you still pay in this. You can't be half a fucking activist, right? You can't be half, <clears throat> you can't be uh, against the man in the establishment, the man. You know, all that bullshit that people like to push on Twitter. You can't be ha you can't be a part of partially against the establishment, right? Partially against big business and and all this shit. You can't be partially against that. It's either all of it is wrong or none of it. There is no in between because again, if we're looking at the price of this for fifty five dollars, and then we're looking at this from another business that's in the business of making money, regardless if it's third party or not, if it's a billion dollar owned or not, the point is this is another business and corporation that is building something to get your dollars, to get your money. Is this worth it? Is this worth it? Never mind it being third party. Is it worth it? It's $70. I digress. 
Shout out to Tom Warren. <laughs> uh, you know, I just I just thought this was a I'm gonna take one of Bari's phrases. This is a terrible gaming take. A bad gaming take. All the way. This is a terrible, terrible, bad, horrible gaming take. All the way. Through and through. And it, it kind of plays into that whole notion of uh you know, oh yeah, you know, you're you're what do they like to say? You know, they, they call him a fanboy and all that stuff. Yeah, Xbox fanboy. And I'm like, you know, I don't did you also have an issue with the elite controllers price? You know what? Let's look that up real quick. Uh Tom Warren. So elite controller at Tom. Let's look that up real quick. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I want to see. I'm just, I'm just a little curious, All right? Let's do elite, elite two. Is it elite two? What's the new Xbox controller called? Is it called the elite two? It's called, it's called the Elite 2, right? The Elite 2 controller. And there's the Elite 2. Oh, the Elite Series 2. Did he buy did he buy this? <clears throat> Was he given this or, or did he buy it? This from 2019. Was he now was he given this controller or did he buy it? Because if you bought it, I don't really see you having an issue here. Now, if you was given it, you know, it's a little different. Look at this. You can't get better than this combo if you play on Xbox. The Elite Series 2 and the Arctis 9X are the best accessories on the market. My man, <laughs> Ayo, hold up. How much is that Elite Series 2? Hold up. Uh, let me see. Elite Series 2 controller. How much is that? How much is that? So the Elite Series 2 controller. The Elite Series 2 controller is $157.99. Original price was $179.99. $180. Is that worth it? Is that worth it? And then the headset, how much the headset cost? And you want people, and you telling people that you can't get no better than this combo? This is the best combo? And what's that? The Arctix 9X? How much are the Arctix 9X? <clears throat> Arctix 9X? Let me see. Still series? How much these control? How much this headset? Hey yo, stop fucking play. Hey yo, <laughs> hey yo, stop fucking playing with me, man. Hey yo, stop. Hey yo, stop playing. Hey yo, stop playing, man. Stop playing, man. Stop, yo. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> hey yo, stop. Stop playing with me, bro. <laughs> hey yo, stop fucking playing. Yo, stop. Play yo. Hey yo, stop playing with me, man.
That's about 400 425 if you include taxes 400 maybe 400 410 415 maybe and the man said what you can't get better than this combo if you play on xbox one x the elite 2 and the arctics 9x a 200 a, 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 a 200 headset but 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 55 dollar plates is too much Hey, yo, stop playing, yo. Cut the cap. Stop playing, man. Stop playing, man. Cut the cap. Y'all gotta stop, man. Y'all gotta stop, man. Y'all, yo, man. Y'all gotta, y'all have to stop with this, bro. This shit is getting, it's getting bad out here, man. It really is getting bad out here, man. Y'all gotta stop this. This, this not healthy, man. Like, I'm being real right now. This is not healthy. You cannot sit here and tell me that for someone that's going to buy, that, that was going to back during the Xbox One X gen, that a $200 headset and a $180 controller is the best combo? $400 on top of the three or 400 you spent on the console? Just to talk and play? An extra, so you're telling people to go out and spend a whole, almost a G, just to have a quality experience on Xbox One X back in 2019, but $55 plates to make your, X, your PlayStation look cool and unique to you is too much y'all gotta stop man y'all gotta stop uh, jamil i think it's the perfect comparison the controller that come in the box work perfectly fine you don't need that you don't need this and you can buy a cheap little 30 dollar headset you don't need this for this price. The man is telling you the best experience combo is this. The man has told you the best experience combo is this. This is what he's telling his, his, his audience. And these are the prices. That's crazy. That is crazy. But this is why people call say he's a, some of, some of his takes come off a bit fanboys because you're not keeping the same energy that's the point <laughs> you're not keeping the same energy but i digress i digress let's move on shout out to y'all in the chat man i appreciate y'all i digress because <laughs> i could I, I could keep going with that all fucking day uh but let's move on let's move on so shout out to um shout out to tom warren like i said you know um shout out to playstation for the plates for the new colors very exciting uh i can't wait i don't know just something about that tweet from tom warren was just a little a little fishy a little a little long john silverish if you ask me uh but i digress like i said i digress okay so now let's get into some real gameplay talk, right? So here's the thing, right? PlayStation, not PlayStation, excuse me. New gameplay for Forspoken got released today, right? But the link, the official link is gone. I think a lot of people didn't want, I think I did, because IGN had put up the video, but the link, the, the link to the video, and the video is not on IGN's website anymore. It's not on their YouTube. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure why they took it down. But you know, people on YouTube, they you know, they you know they downloaded this video already. <laughs> you know how that goes. Shout out to Geek Culture Gaming. You know, appreciate y'all for downloading this real quick. All right. So we're gonna do a quick little we're gonna watch the gameplay talk about it a little bit, you know. And uh Eurogamer dropped a video of it too. Yeah, I know I don't know why they took that down. But uh, yo, listen, let's look at this. 
right? And let, let, let's bask in the glory that is Forspoken. Listen, Forspoken is a game. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> Jamel. <laughs> I'll be chilling, man. I just like to give my... Uh, I just like to, you know, I, I I don't like to attack people personally, which I'm not. It's only it's only the gaming takes, right? So, you know, shout out to him. Cause I don't have no personal ill will towards Tom Warren. You feel me? He do what he do. Like, you know, I don't I don't hate the man. You know, he does what he does. Just, you know, a couple of his gaming takes. I just don't I don't agree with. So I'm gonna talk about it. But anyway, for spoken, this game comes out May 24th, 2022. It is a game that I cannot wait. It's already pre-ordered. It's a day one. I love this game. Shout out to uh, Elena ba uh, Balanska. Bal uh, Balinska. Uh, she beautiful as hell, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Listen, man. I... Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful woman. I, I, I ain't gonna cap. But um, they showed this, like, this was like out of left field, right? Because I'm like, I thought what we saw at the Game Awards would have been it, but we got some new gameplay today. And I'm like, yo, today is really a good day, right? So, uh, Let's look at this gameplay real quick, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. So one one thing I want to point out too here real quick before we continue, uh, cause I love you know a lot of people were saying that the world like in a lot of the trailers that we saw that we saw, the world looked dead, it looked empty, it looked like there wasn't much to do, and I'm like yo, and I've always said like yo, y'all really want y'all really want these developers to just play the whole game for you. Like from beginning to end, for you to think, for you to see that it's something that you want to fucking buy and play. I, I, I'm like, yo, they, they showing you what the what the world looks like, what you're gonna be able to do and all that. But let's let's continue, right? Uh, and I I do agree, dope is Jay. Um, there definitely was some frame rate issues, which we'll we'll talk about as well. Uh, but like, yo, look at the world, man. It's a, it's it's a lot. It look it pre it looked pretty lively to me, man. Right? She walking through some town or whatever uh it looks pretty cool you know basic town so here is where like we're gonna start seeing a little bit of the frame rate stutter um which i think you know Outside of that, because I didn't really notice any pop-ins, and we'll, we'll really look at it here. I didn't really notice any 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 frame rate pop-ins or anything like that. I mean, uh, uh, any pop-ins in the world, but there is definitely a lot of frame rate. You're going to see a lot of frame rate issues. I could definitely acknowledge that, but I, I think that stuff will be ironed out by launch, personally speaking. Yo, one thing, yo, oh my, yo, the traversal, the traversal in this game is just so great, man. Like, that, that, that is one thing about this game that I truly, truly do love, man. Is like the traversal in this game is just, it's, it's so fun. Oh, I noticed the popping right there. Hold up, I noticed, yo, I say there was no popping, and then I notice it. <laughs> Hey, also like right here, right here. There's a pop in. I'm gonna slow it down. Hold on, let me slow it down a little bit. Let me slow it down. You'll notice it too. Hold on. <laughs> hey, I noticed the pop in, man. It's right here. Like, pay attention, right here, right here. Pay attention, right here, where you see the cursor. Pay attention. Oh, you see the pop in right there? Ah, it's all good though. It's all good though. Listen, man. Listen, we good. We good, man. We good, guys. Hold slow down. Relax. Relax. It's all good. I just had to point that out. I did notice it. The world looks very, uh, very layered too. I don't think it's, it's, it's not just like a flat surface from what I'm seeing in the map, right? It definitely very mountainy, very, very layered. And even in a lot of the other trailers that we've seen, uh, this is definitely a very vertical, a very, very vertical 
game um which i'm you know again i'm i'm, I'm very excited for like the traversal in this game is going to be really fun right um and then even when we look at like the the little menu screen we see journal map muse uh magic gear nails what is nails like is that like some type of collectible the uh, uh area a uh, section or something like that what is nails like what is that what does that mean resources in an archive uh magic and gear which we'll see in a second uh when she goes into like the gear and magic section uh your gains for eternity appreciate you bro for the super chat he says yo peep that music though orgasmic that's a fact very good music um i do like it it's very um old i don't want to say old timey but uh it's very very uh gladiator-esque or whatever the fuck you want to call it So we get a brief, brief glimpse of the magic and see, listen, guys, this is something that I truly, truly can't wait for, because when it comes to this game, again, from a lot of the trailers that we've seen of this game, um, she is, you know, uh, uh, Frey is, is, is doing a lot in this game. Shorty is doing a lot in this game. And like, you know, she's got the earth ability, she's got the fire ability, she's got electric, water, ice, air. Like she's doing so much. So one of the few things that I really, really wanted to see, uh, what, what I really want to look at when I first get this game is definitely the, the skills of the magic because there is a lot here. And even when you look, I'm gonna slow it down so that we can see. Even when you look, you see like like the, 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 the skills are arcing and it's, it's a lot here, like you'll see. So like even this, this ability here, flow, enables high speed movement and parkour. You just got to hold down circle. So that's pretty cool, right? And then, oh, we missed one. It was kind of quick. So burst shot fires forth lumps of explosive rock that deal area damage. So that's pretty cool, cool ability. And we've seen a lot of that uh, in some of the trailers where, uh, you know, she was shoot she has like the little earth ring around her wrist and she's shooting a lot of rock and stuff like that. So uh, I, I think this is definitely will be like an early, a really early ability that we get, right? And then uh, level two. So level two, and I, I wonder what this, I think this purple, like this 14, this might be like these, these purple numbers right here and this little symbol. I'm thinking the the that might be like um elemental damage points or it might be how much magic or how much of the bar it eats up when you use this type of ability. It's one of I think it's one of those two things. I think the 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 regular numbers here that is the damage that might be the damage uh oh it might be the tech points. That's a that's a good that's a good call out Carl. It might be tech points. Uh, but I think the 47 here is just the damage that it does. Skill points, skill points. Yep, it might be skill points required. Actually, yeah, actually it is. I ain't even look up here. <laughs> hey, yo, I forgot to look up here. I'm so busy looking at the skills. Yeah, up here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skill points. Shout out to the chat. See, that's why I love the chat, man. The chat's so good. You feel me? I love the chat. Uh, Yeah, okay, so skill points. Those are skill points. Damn, hold up. Wait a second. Hold up. Let's back up. 14 skill points to unlock this what kind of shit is that that's a lot are they just gonna be throwing skill points at us all willy-nilly like uh, that's a lot hold up uh and then we got burst shot level three which fires four from lumps of explosive rock that deal even more damage so i guess as you get more skill points or whatever the tech points whatever you want to call it magic points uh you can in increase those abilities and make those abilities a lot stronger which is pretty standard for like skill tree stuff so she's actually unlocking this to learn that now it's level three okay then we see here uh standard so the gear screen standard is uh health stamina defense healing now can you heal yourself or is that like I'm, I'm assuming you can heal yourself or you might have some type of healing ability. Maybe you can strengthen how like how 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 good your healing is or something like that. That's pretty cool. And then magical powers is purple magic, red magic, blue magic, green magic. So again, 
they're not going earth, earth, air, earth, air, water, and all that. Blue magic, and listen, I'm just taking a shot in the dark here, but stick with me. Uh, blue magic, I think, is water, right? Or ice or whatever. Green is definitely uh, earth. Actually, no. Yeah, I would say green is... Uh, green. No, green actually is lightning. I think green is lightning because when we looked at the other trailer from the Game Awards, when she did her lightning move, the lightning was like a greenish type of color. Hold up. Let me see if I can if I can go to it. Uh Hold up. It was like a greenish It was like a greenish color. Let me see if I can find it. Hold up. Forspoken, forspoken. I just want to find it real quick. Hold up. Where are you at, forespoken? Uh Where the hell is for spoken? PlayStation have it? Let me see. Uh, let's go to IG. Actually, no. Let's go to PlayStation. Because I remember... That might have been electric. Let me see. Let it play. Let it play. Yeah, you see. All right, so let's look right here. So you see her her feet. All right, all right. We about to we about to definitely break down this shit right here. Hold up. All right, so you see when you look at her feet. Uh. When you look at her feet when she's skating, you see you see the blue and you see the ice. So blue is definitely is definitely water, right? Or ice. Right? It's definitely water or ice. Right? So blue is definitely that, and you see the ice symbol. I, I think that green is magic because in this trailer, I want her to do do the electric moves. And then we see, so we see like this little yellowish, like a reddish yellowish. You see like, you see like the, the golden yellowish type of type of stuff right there. I think, what color is that? Purple, red. That might be like a reddish. Oh, that might just be the movement ability because like, you know, she moves kind of quick with that. That might just be the movement ability. Yeah, so green is, green could be, er, is earth, I think, because yeah, look, when she goes invisible, it's kind of like got this greenish, it's got like kind of got like this greenish glow to it, but I want her to do the electric move. Here we go. So you see like that, that little green that she shoots right there and then it's going to turn to electricity. Yeah, that's a, I, that looks, that looks green to me. Unless I'm fucking, unless I'm going crazy. Chat, am I going crazy here? That looks green to me. So you know, that's definitely, that's definitely electric. That's definitely the electric abilities, which I think look really, man, that's going to be so dope. So that's the electric abilities, right? And then red, obviously red is fire. It's green. Thank you, Henry. Uh, red is fire. Purple, I, I'm not, I'm not sure. Purple could be, um, it's green, right? Yeah. So green, I think is electric. So blue is ice and water. Green is electric. Probably electric and, and, and uh, yeah, electric and like nature or some shit like that. And then red, is, red I think, might be fire and earth, right? Fire and earth, because, you know, earth, magma, stuff like that. That might be these. Now, purple is probably the only one that I can't really, because I'm trying to think back to the other trailers. I can't really place where, like, purple magic, what that might do. We know that, you know, it, I don't know. We'll have to see. And I think they show it here, but let's continue. Oh, and then we see like, you know, one thing I do like too is that in this game, there's definitely going to be like gear and stuff like that that you can get. Because like, you know, you're going to see like the cloak that she puts on. It's going to give like different abilities. And then we see here with the necklace, uh, with the accessories ability, 
She's got Osaka, which is a uh, support magic. Support magic deals extra damage, which I think is pretty cool. So she's going to change her hood here. Now, listen, when I seen the red cloak, I got hype. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Again, guys, I love the color red. Uh, blue equals gravity. Ah, oh, that might be a good call out, uh, blue, uh, uh, Blackbeard. Purple, I mean, purple equals gravity. That might, that might be a good, uh, that might be. Look, she's going to put on that red hood. Ooh. And look, we see like the red hood, like they go through some of the, uh, when they go through some of the, um, hoods, we'll look at them. So we, so we see, let me slow it down just a little bit. So we see with the, uh, the power, uh, the, what's this one called? Pelerin. The Pelerin uh, cloak is immune to poison. Okay. And then, uh, damn, you're going too trick. You're going too quick. So then the stra the Stranith cloak debuffs on self recovery more quickly. Okay, that's that's a that sounds pretty useful. And then the Valoris cloak, it says surge magic recharge rate boosted when cuff locks. Cuff locks. Is that that little shield that she does? That might be the shield that she does. I think she's going to choose this one too, right? Yeah, she is. All right, let's... Uh... That red look nice, man. That red looks so clean. Wait, wait till you see it. And then... Oh, we see what nails are. Okay. <clears throat> so, oh, wait a second. So, nails is also... Wait, so design, blue flash. Attack spells charge more quickly. So, wait a second. The nail design, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's hella different. So the nail designs also are a stat. Hold up, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, I've never heard of this in a game before. So if you have different designs on the, on your nails, they, and they allow her to do different types of stat. It, it adds a different stat to the, to her. So blue flash, if you got the blue flash nail design, attack spells charge more quickly. Yo, that is fire. I like that. I like that a lot. I've never I have never seen a game do that before with like nails, where like if your nails are painted a specific color or a specific pattern or something, you do like a different type of uh 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 ability or you know it, it makes you do something. Yo, that's that's really dope, man. Yo, shout out to to luminous and, and and uh and square for that shout out to square that's dope that's dope that is really really dope yo look at that red cloak though man oh man i can't wait All right, so we're going to see a lot of frame issues here. This is where the frame issues kind of start to get a little get a little heavy. Looks like a flanky one. Try to keep up. So, a regular cat then? I got this. And as we see throughout the world, there's there's a, there's enemies all around. I don't know what that purple stuff is, but there's enemies. You know, we see enemies and like, you know, people that you probably can save now when she gets down here to the bottom that's when you really gonna see like real bad frame dips i don't think the frames here weren't like that bad it's when she gets, starts fighting all the enemies at the bottom that she really gonna see like that big frame dip Yeah, I can't lie, man. This world looks this world looks really, really fun to kind of traverse and just be. I'm gonna get lost in this world, man. I'm I'm really excited for this. Not the pep talk I needed. All right, so we see I like I like the I like the powers wheel. So again, and this was something that I was thinking about. Let me let me uh, go back a little bit. This was something that I was actually thinking about as well when it comes to uh what's this next one? Sorry about that. 
uh, this was something that I was actually wondering when it came to how you would like kind of manage all these abilities because it's just so much, right? It's so much that you kind of have at your disposal, kind of manage managing it all and kind of being able to kind of switch things up on the fly and stuff like that. That was always something that I was kind of like, I wonder how they would do. So I like the fact that they have the 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 wheel, the kind of wheel of powers, if you will, right? And then we see here this little triangle symbol. So, you know, earth, fire, and ice. So we see that right now she's on. So this is how I think it's going to work. The earth, fire, and ice, right? Those are probably your main abilities. Your main, like the main ability category, right? But then depending on which one you're on. So if you're on ice or earth or, or fire or whatever, then that wheel that comes up that we'll see in a second, that might be those abilities that you can use within that earth or fire uh, uh, category, right? So, you know, I want to see it real quick when it comes up. Okay, so we see, yep, <clears throat> I, I think I'm right here because a lot of these look like earth, earth abilities. So we see bind, bind is ties up enemies in a tangle of weeds. And obviously, again, if we look down here at the bottom, we see that she is on the earth abilities. And then when she opens up this wheel, we see, uh, we see like all these earthen type powers, right? I'm going to slow it down so that we can see all of them. So, damn, man, even at 25%, that shit going hella slow. All right, so in, pet, in plant, it's fire seeds into enemies that deal damage with every further strike you land. Okay, that's pretty dope. And then disp uh, disperse. Causes flowers to spring up in a spot of your choosing that pick up uh, nearby rocks and fling them at enemies. Oh, shit. And then Prime places a magical trap in a spot of your choosing that explodes when stepping on dealing area damage. So it's kind of like a mind, a mind type of thing. Okay, I like that. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. And then Burrow is sends out item seeking roots the more loot you find the more quickly your support magic will recharge yeah so this is this is earth this is her earth ability uh wheel right here so i think i'm i think it's safe to say uh the way they kind of separate out the powers is into category so the earth category these i'm assuming these are the abilities and you might be able to change some of these out or upgrade them whatever but these are the abilities that you can use and then if you switch the fire obviously you'll have those abilities and then uh, ice, excuse me, ice, you'll have your ability. So Burrow sounds dope. So she chooses Prime. Or he or they choose Prime, right? Okay, let's let's speed it back up. Yep. So that's the, uh, that's the mine. So they go to mine right there. They're going to step on it. Boom. Ooh, that's nice. On it. Got him. Okay. See, you see the frame rate issues too. I hope you could turn off that, that number shit too. I don't wanna I don't wanna see those numbers like that. I hope you could turn that off. Yo, T Mang, what's up? You start but you start seeing the frame rate issues here too, guys. You see it like kind of skipping a little bit. Oh, oh my god, man. This combat is, is it. I'm gonna have fun with this combat. Ready for this? Oh man, this looks good. Yep. Outside of the frame issues. All right, so we see. All right, so we see. Okay, so hold up. Hold up, hold up. We just see we just missed a lot there. Let's slow that down real quick. We just missed a lot, and this is actually all right. So the, the, the triangle here is kinda I kinda I can't wait to get in the game because I I, I think I'm partially right when it comes to the to the powers being separated in categories, but we even see here that now it's different. Now she's on uh I electric. And everything is different. Like these three categories are now different. I was thinking that the triangle was served as the kind of like the house where all the abilities are. 
and you just kind of switch between earth, fire, air, or whatever, and then the wheel kind of lets you, uh, the wheel is how you kind of choose what you want to use or something like that. But then I'm like, ah, that might be a little off, but we, we just missed a lot there, right? So look, you see how it changes. So now everything is different. And now we see different abilities, right? So now we see uh, Nadir, we see Katarak level one, and we see Fanbolt. So the powers changed, but it's now under the ice element triangle. I, I, I'm not sure how to, and even when she pulls up the wheel, so when she, what, you see, so now we see the wheel is different and there's different abilities. So Nadir sends a poisonous column of water snaking toward the enemy that can envenomate those it strikes. So I wonder, wait a second, wait a second. Okay. So what if, what if you can actually mix and match different powers from the different elements to do like debuffs or, 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 or do increased damage based? So like, say you wet a bunch of enemies and then you use the electric ability, it does increase damage. I got a strong feeling that that's what, that's what's happening here, which is why we're seeing fan bolt under the ice triangle, right? And then we see some of these other ones here. I still can't. So purple is poison. Purple is poison, I'm assuming, or like a debuff type of thing, or like a buff or debuff. And then we see Obiliot uh, forms an enormous ball of water in which the enemy is trapped. Attacking the ball causes an area damage dealing explosion. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, then we see fan bolt. Hold on. Okay. So, yeah. So, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. So, let's go back to Abilia. So, Abilia is a, is, is a ball of water, right? And it does an area of explosion. I'm assuming, and this is just assumptions. I'm assuming this is, this is what puts, like, a status effect on the enemy of, like, wet, right? Or whatever. Or, like, ice ability or something like that, right? And then we see him switch to the electric tree or whatever, and we see Fanbolt fires a spray of magical linked arrows out into front of, in front of you, dealing damage over the entire area to cover, right? That's Fanbolt. And then we see Chainbolt fires an arrow upon charging and another upon releasing. If both strike in the same place, bonus damage is dealt. So I wonder if, because I'm assuming Bolt, Electric, that's why I'm, I'm assuming here with that. But what if Bolt and Electric it 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 kind of it 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 will also do like it'll cause like electrify or or it'll do increased damage because they're all wet. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying, guys? So we see chain bolt, and then are you gonna go? There we go. Cluster bolt fires an arrow which breaks up in midair, raining down bolts that deal damage over a wide area. Right? I think that's the one they're gonna go with. Yes. Okay. So you saw how he chain. Okay. Here we. All right. So I get it. I get it. I get it. So the wheel, you choose what abilities you want to use in a moment. And then we see here, these are the abilities that you use. So Billiot and Cluster Bolt, I'm, I'm assuming that's going to, you know, inflict shock. And then Katarak uh, is probably like some type of ultimate or super ability because we see with Billiot is L2, Cluster Bolt level one is R2. So those are your, uh, your powers that you could use in a moment. And you use the wheel to change out the powers that you want to use in the moment. I like that. I like that. And again, because there's so many powers and stuff like that, I like that. And I'm, again, I'm assuming Cataract level one, L2, R2. I'm assuming that's your quote unquote ultimate. You get what I'm saying? Which I think is cool. So that's 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 pretty that's pretty fucking dope, man. That is really really dope. Oh yeah. They go to water. They they go to water. Yo, I was right. Oh, yo. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yo, wait, did y'all see that? Yo, this game about to be amazing. I can't wait to see the I can't wait to see the clips on Twitter. I can't wait to see the clips on Twitter. Guys, mute when this game comes out, mute me. Because I'm going to be putting clips up for for like the whole fucking month, okay? Straight up. Did you guys see that? Did you guys just see that? 
Oh my god. Hey, yo, this game gonna be fire, man. And this game's gonna be fire. Again, and, and obviously, guys, the frame rate, the frame rate issues. Like, obviously, you know, there's, there's a lot of frame. There's, the frame's jumping all over the place. So they definitely need to get the frame issue straight. Outside of that, I'm looking out in the world. I'm looking around. Everything else looks solid to me. Is it, for me, it's just the frame rate issues from what I'm seeing. Oh, experience plus 10 mana. So she leveled up and then we're going to open the chest. What's in the chest? Healing drought, a new archive entry. Okay. So like a, a piece of like a. Hold up, man. Can we go back to that part real quick? I just want to play that part, but I just want to play this encounter back one more time because yo, this is crazy. wait to see the boss fights in this game the boss fights in this game are going to be great the boss fights in this game are going to be great they're going to be great they're going to be great man yo listen uh 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 or spoken that's a that's a that's a day one man <laughs> that is most definitely a day one let me get these super chats real quick uh yo viper man appreciate you for the super chat man he says uh i think that's what the triangle is for to combine different magics kind of like a grand uh grandiate color circle where blue and yellow make green yeah 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 definitely definitely i love how we all i, I figured it we figured that out together i love that uh Traversal looks great. The combat looks very, very fun. It looks solid to me, man. I'm, I'm really, I'm really digging. I'm really digging this game. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I, I really cannot wait uh, for this game. This game is a day one for me. This game, this game is a day one. It's a day one. That was a good. That was good. Yo, listen, May twenty fourth, man. Uh, mute me on Twitter. <laughs> I'm let y'all know now. Mute me for. Cause mute me from May 24th to July 1st on Twitter. Cause I'm posting up clips. I'm posting up combat clips. I'm posting up, uh, I'm posting it all, man. Straight up. I'm posting them clips. I am posting them clips. Hands down, I'm posting the clips. All right, so real quick, let's talk about this Hellblade real quick. So, Hellblade 2. So listen, Hellblade 2, uh, like I was saying at the beginning of the show, it says I got that fragrance. Oh yeah, it's definitely got that PlayStation uh, fragrance all over it. It smell, it, smell, it, smell, it smell good. It smell good, 100%, 100%. So, PlayStation, is this in 4K? Let me see if this is in 4K. Oh, 1440p at least. All right, so listen. Hellblade 2, you know, one of the things that I was saying about this Game Awards that I, I, and I'm actually glad that it happened, I was saying that, yo, we need to see Hellblade 2. You know, you showed us this game a while back, two, like almost two, well, yeah, it has been two years ago, and we really haven't seen anything substantial since, right? So I'm really happy that they showed this off, right? To at least give us a visual to to uh, of what we could potentially expect when it comes to the game right um i you know I, like i said i love hellblade one i think hellblade one is a great game you know i really enjoyed that game platinum then in 2017 when it first came out on playstation day one supporter right uh i didn't wait really enjoyed the game loved the game so much uh and i'm excited for hellblade 2 and i think hellblade 2 looks dope but see here's here's the problem um Hellblade, and, and, you know, visually, I think it looks cool. 
But Hellblade 2 is not, from what I saw, it did not look like over the top, oh my God, this is amazing. This is the greatest thing since sliced bread, right? And this is, again, this is coming from somebody that, you know, will play the game for the, I will play the second game and stuff like that. But what I saw, I would have wanted to see more. And when I say more, I mean more combat, right? Now, listen, you ain't got to go do a whole 15 minute demo, right? I would have just have liked to see actual more like I'm controlling this character, doing some fighting combat or whatever the case to be, just to see some, because I don't know, this felt like, you know, me and Barry was talking about this last week. Um, I don't know, this felt very on rails, right? Because it, I just feel like a lot of this wasn't really, isn't really like engaging gameplay. It's more so you kind of just sitting there and press this button to do this, press this button, more QTE-ish, if you will, right? Now, is this slow? Oh, my fault. Now, again, the game, the, the game looks beautiful. Now, let's get one thing straight, right? Because, again, and this is why I say with a lot of the Xbox zealots, right? Uh, they, uh, with a lot of these Xbox zealots, they do this stuff to themselves, right? As great as this, as cool as this game looks, right? You know, I, I see, again, I've seen a lot of Xbox fanboys talking about how this looks better than Horizon Forbidden West or anything that has ever released on PlayStation, right? And I, I laugh at shit like that, but let's more so just focus on Horizon Forbidden West for a second. Now, look, again. I am going to, I, I got to say this, this game looks cool, right? I need to see more, but what this, what was shown here wasn't really something to kind of get super duper. Oh my God. You know, like when we seen the horizon gameplay or seen even that quick little God of War trailer, that trailer is like two minutes long, three minutes, even that quick little trailer got us what much more hype than this. Right. And I think that's where, that's where my problem lies is, you know, you had six minutes. This demo is six minutes long. And there was a lot of, and there was a lot of like, not really, it was like a lot of nothing. You get what I'm saying, guys? Now, I'll, I, again, and here goes the other side of it. A lot of people try to talk about, oh, well, you know, uh, they just was trying to show the game off just to show you how it looks. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. But I, I feel like this late in the game, especially since this game was shown off in 2019, I feel like you could have shown something that was just a little bit more exciting to get people uh, 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 a little bit more excited, right? Because this feels more like a glorified, watching this felt more like a glorified tech demo than anything else. You get what I'm saying? This didn't really feel like, you know, uh, you, you guys get what I'm saying though? Like, am, am I making sense to y'all in the chat? Let me know if I'm making sense to y'all in the chat. It just felt like a glorified tech demo to a certain degree. And I'm just like, you could have showed me a little bit more here, right? Like a little bit more, a little bit more exciting gameplay. And again, yo, J Gamer, what's good? And again, when it comes to this game, you know, she still got the voices. I, I was saying this too on, uh, on my live stream last week. I was saying that uh, I think this Senwa, Senwa Saga, I think this might be a prequel and not necessarily a continuation of the first game, like I, I think this might be a prequel. Get ready. And again, listen, shout out to Senwa. Yeah, a lot of this, a lot of this was like. A lot of this was like a cutscene, you know, like this felt very cutscene ish, very QCE ish. Zarek. Yeah, they did say it wasn't going to be a classic sequel. So, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, hell yeah, uh, uh, the, the Matrix tech demo had more gameplay. See, this is my thing, right? 
this this is very creepy, very you know, very very Hellblade esque. But most of this was cutscene, like cutscenes. It wasn't really gameplay, and that's why I say a lot of these fanboys they they do it to themselves, man. Because it's like, yo, get hype, absolutely, get excited, get hype. Like that stuff is 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 is, is perfect. But the shit you say, this looks better than Horizon. Like, what the fuck are you talking? Like, and we're gonna show Horizon in just a second, guys. Absolutely. Uh, but I just want this to play out while we talk. Because listen, she walked into the, she walked into the, she walked into the into the cave. She threw, she threw the the the, the spear, the flaming spear, and ran out. Right. Nothing spectacular happened here, in my opinion. Again, it looks good. It looks good. It looks beautiful. You know, look. It looks like a. It looks like a good-looking game. Can't wait to play it on my PC. It looks great. But a lot of this is cutscenes. Now, maybe right here she's controlling. You're controlling Senwa, and they tell you. You see, and that's why I said this looks very QTE-ish, right? Because you know this happens here, right? Now, this right here. If this is gameplay, this is a QTE because she's kind of just standing there for a second, right? And then she throws it. And that's probably in the real game, you're probably be like, you know, press X or A to throw or what, you know, press A. And then you throw and that's it because watch what happens. You throw it, right? And then it goes straight back into a cutscene. You, you get what I'm saying, guys? And again, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to shit on Hellblade 2. I'm excited for the game. You know, I, I'm, it's getting played, absolutely. But here's the other side of it. A lot of these Xbox dudes, they, they shit it on Hellblade 1. How bad it is, how, how one and done it is, no, a walking simulator, QTE, fat, all this bullshit, right? All of a sudden, you got all these dudes who think one and done games aren't worth 70, don't think one and, think one and done games aren't worth playing, right? Hate, you know, but but they hype for this and they say all this outlandish shit and then when you look at their credentials they ain't even play the game they didn't even play the first game and that is part of the problem here you've got a lot of frauds in this community listen you know rep your rep your rep your console right rep your console rep your favorite piece of plastic whatever do all that right i prefer a playstation i'm gonna I'm rock with playstation right but the credentials man Y'all look spooky out here, bigging up these games that you that you won shit it on when it came to the first game and two ain't even complete. Never mind getting the platinum or the hundred percent achievements. You ain't even beat the game. That's a problem. Now again, now it goes from cutscene into oh run like you know move forward or whatever or press R to like there is no real gameplay here, in my opinion from what I saw. There is no real gameplay. Again, now back into a cutscene. This this looks better than Horizon. Come on, man. Let's let's be real here. Look, another QCE. Come on, man. Come on, guys. And again, this looks great, right? I can't wait to play this. But come on, man. This is why I say y'all gotta y'all gotta cut the cap. Cut, 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 cut the cap. Cut, 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 cut the cap. Y'all gotta cut the cap. Look, another cutscene. Another cutscene. Majority of this gameplay is is cutscenes, and in my opinion, I think QTEs. This is a cutscene. Another QTE. Oh no, this is a cutscene. This is a cutscene, guys. Yo, Dopish J, that's a great point. What about this game looks like where are they outside of the graphics? What really looks improved here? That's a great point, Dopish J. That's a great point. Now listen, guys. The game, like I said, the game getting played. The game is getting played 100 percent And y'all know this, man. Y'all know me. Y'all know that's getting played. But see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And this why, and this why I tell y'all, man. A lot of you, a lot of y'all out here, man. Never bite off more than you could chew, right? Because nobody on this, on, on, nobody on God's green earth, is gonna sit here and tell me 
that what we just saw with Hellblade looks better than Horizon. You smoking? You smoking? This game, this game, Blade. <laughs> This is this ain't no cutscene. This gameplay, the game gonna look like this. Cut the cap. Cut, 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 cut the cap. That's gameplay. This gameplay. Hold up, Leo. Listen, man. I I don't make the rules, guys. I only am. I'm just a messenger. I I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. I only follow the rules. This is the problem in this community. Y'all don't know how to follow the rules. Because you end up looking stupid. <laughs> you see this world? You see this? <laughs> hey, yo, I don't make the rules, man. This is gameplay. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. This is gameplay. This ain't no cutscene. This is gameplay. This is gameplay. This is gameplay. I don't make the rules. <laughs> I don't make the rules. This is gameplay. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, guys. We got to do better than this, man. We got to do better than this, man. We got to do better than this, man. Can't, can't keep, can't keep doing this, man. It's not healthy. It's not. It's not healthy, man. It's not healthy. This is this is gameplay, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. I need to get clear. This is gameplay. That was close. You telling me Hellblade Two? Look, what? I, yo, get put some glasses on. You telling me Hellblade? Listen, Hellblade Two look better than this. This is why Xbox fanboys get laughed at in this community. That's why they get made fun of. Because the shit they say is so outlandish and stupid. It's like, yo, what the fuck? And I'm excited for Hellblade 2, by the way. I'm gonna keep saying that because I am excited for the game. But we, 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 sometimes we gotta call a spade a spade, man. Sometimes you gotta call a spade a spade. And this is one of those times. Look, look at that underwater gameplay. Are we really, ladies and gentlemen? Are we really doing this? Why are we doing this, ladies and gentlemen? Why? Why are we doing this? This isn't healthy. <laughs> and, and and I feel so bad for the developers, right? Because a lot of these fanboys put these such crazy, such crazy constraints and and and, and expectations on these devs. Instead of just enjoying, instead of just like chilling, sitting back and just, yo, this game looks great. And then it creates this, this, this whirlpool of just negative energy and, 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 and just negativity of, you know, cause then when Digital Foundry do, do their analysis or, or when Thrash does his analysis or when people play the game and it's not what the expect to the expectation of what these fanboys hype up, you know, the developers are the ones that kind of eat a, a, a bulk of that, a, a, of that bullshit because Fanboys don't know when to kind of just dial it back, bro. What did what did Jim Ryan say? Enough from me. We are going to let the games do the talking. You don't see a lot of PlayStation dudes talking about RDNA two and and the power of this and SSD this and VHS and VRS and all this stupid shit, man. You don't see that. You see that stuff from a lot of play Xbox fanboys, and then when that stuff isn't being reciprocated or shown through the console. It, it, it becomes a laughing stock. It becomes a laughing stock, bro. And it's like, yo, Jim Ryan said, enough from me. We are going to let the games do the talking. And that is what is happening now and what has happened since the PlayStation 5 has come out. Just enjoy Hellblade for what it is. It don't need to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's better than this. It's going to do this. And then when it doesn't deliver on that front, 
you end up looking you you have egg on your face but who has to take the brute of uh, the, the blunt of that of that of that negative energy on twitter it's it's the devs so now you got dev you got these these radicals hitting up devs talking about well why is this not doing this is this 4k 60 is it going to be using vrr in it and bugging them with all this stupid shit when it's not met when the game launches it's not good it's not healthy just just, just enjoy the game bro just be happy with the game it's crazy bro it's crazy you see horizon right cross gen by the way cross gen can't find oh there we go right ragnarok cross gen you telling me hellblade look better than this keep it a, be honest with me guys i'm asking y'all in the chat you think help you think hellblade looks better than this hellblade hellblade looks better than this but y'all do it to yourselves man y'all do it to yourselves and it's not healthy man as much as people say let's just enjoy gaming a lot of these people out here don't do that you, 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 you. By the way, this is a three-minute trailer that showed more gameplay than Hellblade. It's not it's not healthy. Look at this. Look at this. But the the, the, the fanboys do this though. You mean Look. Look at this. Yo guys. Come on man. Come on man. When when are we gonna stop this? When are we gonna stop this? I'm asking everyone, when are we gonna stop doing this? It's not healthy. <laughs> cut, 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 cut the cap. Cut the cap. Cut, cut, cut the cap. Cut the cap. Cut the cap. It's not healthy, guys. It's not... I, I have no experience. It's not, it's not healthy. <laughs> You're telling me Hellblade looked better than this? <laughs> Who's dead? Oh, boy. Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. If he's out there... We gotta find him. Come in. What in all yarns be the happen? Jesus. I can't wait for this game. We're trying to stop Ragnarok to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? I tell you, man, you give them an inch, they take a mile. They can't just be excited. It's gotta look better than this. And that's why a lot of them are not happy over there on Xbox. Cause because they 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 too busy trying to trying to get Xbox to chase that. That, that PlayStation banger. Phil Spencer said it himself. He not try, he's not interested in making the blue or green ver the blue or red version of a game. He told you this. But y'all still trying to get these Xbox developers to do that. That ain't what they go excuse me, that ain't what they gonna be doing. But y'all still trying to chase that. And that's why a lot of y'all are never gonna be satisfied because you're not happy with what you're getting. You're not happy with what you got. You want it to be better than this, that, and the third, instead of just being happy with the games. And so you'll never be happy. Because it'll never be better than what's on PlayStation. <laughs> cut, 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 cut the cap. <laughs> oh boy. Hilarious. Hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> Oh boy, hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> ah, 
even this game that I'm showing right here with uh, Project Eve. <laughs> Hellblades don't even look better than this. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Y'all gotta stop, bro. Y'all just gotta stop. <laughs> yo, Gar yo, Wolf Jilly, what's up? Jill, what's up? What's up? Shout out to Jill in the chat. Um, all right, guys. With that being said, was it seven thirty? Yeah, I think that that was a good show. Did you guys enjoy yourselves tonight? Did you guys enjoy yourselves tonight? I hope you did. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown and the uh, conversations that we had tonight on One Persona Speaks, episode one sixty six. Uh, I think I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm doing one more show. I'm gonna do one more show this week. So this Wednesday. This Wednesday or Thursday, uh, Christmas giveaway happening on the on the channel. Uh, I appreciate a lot of y'all that support me. Uh, we got to two thousand, so it's a big it's a big time, and it's Christmas time. So um, I'm doing a big giveaway on the channel. So for the members of the channel, I'm giving away uh, two fifty dollar PSN cards. A year PS Plus, and then for the subscribers of the channel, uh, two twenties and a ten. Two twenty dollars and a ten. So, uh, a lot of cool giveaways for Christmas time, uh, and also to say thank you for getting me to two thousand subs. Probably Wednesday evening or Thursday. I'm not sure yet, but Christmas giveaway, you know, is happening. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Listen, I appreciate it. Yo, one more episode, too. So this week will probably be the last week for, like, episodes of When Persona Speaks. And uh, What's Up PlayStation Podcast. Our last episode of the year is this Saturday, 11 a.m. Myself and Bari. It's going to be a really good show. Um, don't miss that. And then, uh, what else? Um... My final show will probably be this week, too, for uh, When Persona Speaks. It'll probably be the giveaway show. Also, Grudge Match this uh, this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Myself versus Upchuck Gaming, Akaza versus Rui, and Demon Slayer, Kemetsu no Yaiba, the Hinokami Chronicles. Uh, it's it's going to be commentated by Jay Bari. That's going to be really good. This is our third Grudge Match. The Grudge Match to end it all. Right now, it's a $300 prize pot. Right, and I'm putting up a hundred. Chuck's putting up a hundred. Bari put up a hundred. Um, if you guys want to put up uh, into the prize pot, it's gonna be a first to ten. Uh, it's gonna be really entertaining. Don't miss that. Uh, that's gonna be the commentating is gonna happen on Bari's channel. So uh, Jay Bari's channel. Make sure you guys go over there. Saturday, six p.m. Eastern. And then um, I'm streaming some more Halo. <laughs> Listen, I know y'all. Uh, <laughs> A lot of y'all be coming in the chat. Persona, why are you streaming Halo? Listen, uh, I want to get through this campaign. So uh, I said I was gonna. I said I was gonna stream the campaign, and uh, I want to finish it. I'm gonna finish it on stream. I should be finished with it tomorrow. I'm gonna do my stream, my Halo stream tomorrow, probably around like five or six, and uh, I should be able to beat the campaign tomorrow because I don't think I've got that much more left of the story. I think that's it. Plus, uh, I've been playing some rank as well on halo so uh you know your boy is uh your boy is in the diamond not diamond i'm in platinum three i think i am i was playing some halo on uh online uh i was playing some halo online today uh rank matches um so yeah i'm gonna do the halo stream tomorrow around five or six and uh i don't know i might stream some halo tonight i don't know i'll see how i feel um actually no i'm gonna play kana Cause I want to beat Kana and uh, I'm back on Kana. So I think he's talking pills to keep himself taking pills to keep himself awake while playing. Nah, nah, it's all right. Like I said, you know, the campaign is just, um, it's really not, it's really repetitive, like more repetitive than usual, right? It's very repetitive and very, uh, it can get a bit boring at times. I'll, I'll say this. It, it ain't no 10. I'll tell you that right now. This shit is not no 10. It's like a 7. Maybe a, a 6 to a 7. So, you know. 
<laughs> but um, I just want to play Halo, Fox. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna play some Kana tonight. <laughs> the whole game is repetitive, respectfully. Yeah, it is. It is, T Man. Absolutely. I do enjoy the multiplayer. Um, I just wish the multiplayer had just a little, a couple more maps. But I'm, I'm really enjoying that. Uh, the rank is where it is, though. Like, I wouldn't want to play. Like, after playing rank, I don't want to go back to, like, regular multiplayer in Halo. Because the rank, I get to use the BR. So, uh, I'm really enjoying rank. I like rank. Just not enough to do. Not enough maps and stuff like that. But they are supposed to be adding Slayer. Like, a separate Slayer playlist tomorrow. So, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to be on that. And uh, you know, check especially if they do Slayer rank. If they do rank Slayer, then I'm a, because with the with Oddball CTF, I like CTF, but even CTF is kind of hit or miss sometimes if you get a shitty team. But with Oddball, Oddball, these dudes don't be wanting to pick up the ball to get no points, and I be trying to like hold the ball and move around, and it's like they can't get no kills. I'm like, yo, y'all suck. Like every shooter, bro, people just suck at playing objective based game, uh, objective based mode modes, man. That's why I like. I stick to just Slayer. Domination is good, too, or what's called Strongholds on Halo. Strongholds is pretty fun as well. Uh, I like that because you really just got to hold down a point to just kill people. So that's that's pretty that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty straightforward. But like Oddball and sometimes CTF, that shit is bad. This shit sucks because his teammates suck. But, um, you know, if they do Slayer ranked, I'm just going to be in Slayer ranked. <laughs> straight up like straight up just slayer like i won't play no other mode but slayer rank if they do like a separate slayer rank mode i'm just gonna live in slayer because i i yo i be washing y'all seen the streams like i be washing these fools on halo bro <laughs> especially now in rank i got the br i be washing these fools in halo bro these dudes are garbage <laughs> Hey, yo, these dudes are trash in Halo, bro. And like, yo, I be just using like the same COD tactics. So I be, I be strafing. And uh, and and see the thing about the BR and Halo, you know, it's, it, they favor hit fire in this game. So like, I be strafing and hit firing, or jumping and hit firing and shoot with the beat. Yo, I be washing these fools, bro. I might do a, a, a Halo multiplayer stream tonight. I will see how I feel. I might do a Halo multiplayer stream tonight. I'm, I'll see how I feel. <laughs> but I'd be watching these fools. Straight up. Uh, but yo, listen, guys. I appreciate y'all. Uh, nah, Xbox players are not the best, Jesus. They are not the best. Jill said, uh, that's what happens when niggas not playing games on a regular. That is a fact, Jill. I'd be, wa yo, oh my, especially in rank. In rank, these dudes are garbage, bro. <laughs> Oh, I was playing earlier today, and I was, yo, I, I wish I would have, because, like, that's one thing about the PlayStation that I love so much. It's just so easy to, like, save matches and clip shit on a computer. It's just kind of, like, I'm still trying to get my, my handle around all that, <clears throat> so I can't clip shit as good, but, man, I was watching these fools. I might, I'm, I'm going to do a stream. I'm going to do a stream, like, in, like, an hour, so I'll see how I feel, uh, but all right, guys, listen, I appreciate y'all, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, happy holidays, and I will see you guys later in the week, okay? Y'all be safe. Peace, peace, peace.